What's up everyone and welcome back to the MMA Zone, UFC 294 Reactions. With UFC 294 wrapping up, what are your thoughts on the card? Now, let's get into some reactions from the main event. Said Nurmagomedov vs. Muin Gafurov Said Nurmagomedov defeated Muin Gafurov with a guillotine submission just 1 minute and 13 seconds into the first round. Here's what the MMA community had to say. Cody Stamen said, Said has the best ninja choke in the game. I should know. Gilbert Burns tweeted, Wow, Said Nurmagomedov is a beast. 1-0 on my parlay. Let's go. Alexander Rokic said, Wow, what a finish by Nurmagomedov. 1-5. Oh, there he uh -oh. goes. There he goes. Uh -oh. oh, you got him in the power. Oh, he oh, tapped. He tapped. Yeah. That's it. Oh, savage, that dude. That was not good. Said Nurmagomedov. I didn't even see the transition because I was too busy correcting Cal. guy's too excited over there. He also fought a monster. Look at see how it goes here. So he's charging forward. Oh, he dives he his head right, right in there. there. Right, right in the middle. And then he's right like, cool, say there. less. And he power guillotine. Oh, I'm that's such that's a fan of him. If you that's watch his ninja. fights, he, he, he's been, he, he'll lose the first and second and pull it out in the third. Damn. He's such that a savage. This. Ikram Aliskerov versus Warley Alves. Ikram Aliskerov defeated Warley Alves with a first round knockout after he landed a flying knee and then let loose with combinations. Here's how the MMA community reacted to this fight. Gilbert Burns said, Wow, Ali Skaroff is a problem. 2 0 on my parlay picks. Kay Hansen tweeted, That knee though. John Morgan said, Praise to Warley Alves for taking that challenge, but Ikram Ali Skaroff looks very much to be the real deal. Have to again try and book him against a ranked opponent next. Alexander Rakic said, What a flying knee by Ikram. Luke Thomas tweeted, What a finish from Ikram Ali Skaroff. Holy smokes. Devastating. Oh, 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 no. Oh, oh no. my goodness. Oh, uh, Warley oh, Alves yeah. done. As soon as he just. Wow. Hey, wow. Fighting Dagestanians out here. Wow. wow. My screen's 10 seconds ahead of you guys. So I'll stop. That flying knee was amazing. Savage. Good. Magomed Ankalaev versus Johnny Walker. Magomed Ankalaev and Johnny Walker ended in a no contest after Magomed head kicked Johnny while his knee was down. Here's some reactions to that fight. Aljamain Sterling said, Pretty shitty outcome. They could have and should have let that continue. Matt Brown posted saying, Johnny Walker is definitely the type to not know what country he's fighting in and be perfectly fine to fight. Jeff Molina said, Someone kick that doctor in the nuts and then ask him where he's at. Alexander Rakic said, Are they going to book a rematch? Sodik Yusuf tweeted, All jokes aside, I may get the question wrong even if I wasn't in a fist fight, but I'm definitely failing what country is Abu Dhabi in, in the middle of a fight. Dan Tom said, Great point by Anik about the doctor rushing things regardless of Walker's response. In fact, at the last ABC conference, they specifically implemented new rules, granted for eye pokes, in an effort to save fight from needlessly getting killed, as that's a priority for them too. Johnny seems fine. I don't understand. Why are they calling the fight? Jo Ooh, Johnny pushed the referee. Something suspect. This is crazy. Because did they ask him if, he's, if he can see and he said no? He got hit with an illegal shot and he wants to keep going. Let him go. This is this is where formalities and all this stuff makes no sense. Agree, because they both want to fight. Yeah, it's let them keep the going. Let them keep going. Here's the issue. Yeah, I'm with formalities, but if they said, "Hey, can you see?" and he goes, "No," and you know, every fighter knows though they're gonna call the fight. But do you think that's what he said? Because he got hit in the jaw. He didn't get hit in the eye. Everyone wants to fight. Why don't they just go? Okay, he said he couldn't see. Maybe there's a this language is issue. This is stupid, so man. So stupid. <clears throat> this is stupid. Let them fight. Too many, let them fight. Too many man. black suits in there. Let them fight. They should figure it out right now. They shouldn't let them stop the fight like that. But did you? What Unless did, there's but, an what issue. Did you, but what did Johnny say? Well, that's dumb. They should. Oh, what? They should let them they keep can. going. Terrible. So what does that mean? A draw or no contest? Terrible. Terrible. Have them just continue. Terrible. Terrible. Terrible that they did that. Maybe he got hit. You gotta really give Maybe the guy. You gotta give the guy a chance to recover. You know, he got hit with an illegal strike, and bringing the doctor in before he gets a chance to recover, I think, is foolish. But also, let the guy recover. But also, if English is his second language, you know what country you're in, he's probably like, what? He wasn't that out of it. Even when he got hit, he wasn't that out of it. He was talking. Kamaru Usman versus Hamza Chimaev. Hamza Chimaev defeated Kamaru Usman by decision. Kamaru fought a good fight for having no camp and still took him to the distance. Here's what the community had to say. Marvin Vittori said, not impressed. Derek Brunson tweeted, Usman came and fought his ass off on short notice, no matter the results. Paulo Costa said, Gourmet Chen Chen is so greenhorn, I would destroy this cupcake, easy money for sure. He then followed up and said, Smoking chicken lungs, I'm just laughing. Dylan Dennis said, I want to fight so bad, I don't care who it is, give me Hamza Chimaev, they're all easy money. 
and he also tweeted, Hamzat Shemaev, you absolutely suck. Kay Hansen said, as soon as Hamzat even touches someone's foot or leg, I know the rest of the round is a wrap. Ka he, he gotta remember. is not so invincible. No. Some, something you gotta remember right. too if that was Paulo Costa and he gets those takedowns he's a bigger dude that yeah. goes in the third round you have some issues right. that's when you get finishes that would have been an interesting fight yeah. that would have been an amazing fight man we, no, that we, was got, the robbed. Fight. we got robbed we got robbed I know we got robbed and they hate each other too yeah. now let me ask you this Joe does this uh, kind of slow the hype train down on Hamza uh, yeah it does a little it's bit a one, it's a welterweight Maybe. yeah, yeah it does a little it bit it slows it down a little bit but it does show he's legit yeah why is um, Usman is shocked? Majority. So it was a split decision. No, majority decision. So one was a draw? No, majority. So 3-0. Right. No, that's unanimous. Oh, was it not unanimous? That was majority. One. That's ridiculous. That doesn't did make any sense. Did you give the second and third to Usman some judge did? I, I, I guess that third with the striking, but then he got but taken the down, down and dominated. And domination on but the if you top. don't do anything with it, they don't really count it. Mm. They want damage inflicted. Second round, you could technically say that Usman could have won that um, because he connected way more. If you're on shrooms, yeah, for sure, second round. No, no, he connected to, he connected with his face a lot. Islam Makachev versus Alexander Volkanovsky. Islam Makachev knocked out Alexander Volkanovsky in the first round with a head kick. Here's what the community had to say. Conor McGregor tweeted, he was always susceptible to that versus a southpaw. Derek Brunson said, that could be career changing. Rampage Jackson said, I knew Islam was gonna win. Alexander Rakic tweeted, contender of the knockout of the year. What a finish by Islam, the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. Lerone Murphy said, wow, what a performance. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, Jesus. What? Oh, Jesus. What? Oh, Jesus. what? He's out. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah, oh, my God. Oh, what? Oh, oh, my he's out. Oh, my God. He Mark head kicked him. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He head Damn. kicked him. Now you'll never Holy see that fight again. Oh That's the risk. God. That's the risk, Bella. God. Wow. Man, what a shocker. Wow. What a shocker. Oh, you still hope that we're even now. Bro. God. Damn. He head kicked it's tough. him. It's tough. Who would have saw that I coming? It. I, I, it. I didn't even see it. It was amazing. Yeah. Shin yeah. to the dome, son. Yeah. Opened yeah. up a cut. It was perfect. Damn. And he was throwing that kick to the body, and then he threw the same kick to the head. Yeah. And taking on 10 days notice, you'd, you'd worry about his cardio going the later rounds. But this one, yeah. no, it's, it is what that, it is. That it's might a win. Been... It's a legit win. Yeah. Oh, it's a solid win, man. The way it went down, I mean, they. this Early was on. not, this was not, he was tired. No, this not was, unprepared. No, he got caught. Yep. He got caught. He got caught with an amazing kick. That would happen with a 12-week camp. 10 day it, it very well could have very well could have very well could have top comments the back and forth between Volk and Islam is the best I've ever seen they can't even stay mad at each other for too long before breaking character and smiling at each other it happened at the face off it's hilarious to see let's be clear Paulo did not pull out of the fight with Hamzat Paulo could not get medically cleared to fight because of his injury slash surgery to his elbow it was the doctors and the UFC decision to remove him from the fight it is the same thing with Charles he was unable to fight due to his injury it's long overdue time that we put the fighters health first anyone else get the impression connor is living his life in the first half of rocky 3 dana flags are back if you feel offended it's on you dana no flags for 294 dana white jumping from allowing flags to not allowing flags like parkour i think volk deserves it islam had his glorious rise he owns that now i would love this to be a triumphant part of volk's story this has been a wild year sean strickland is a champ let's have another underdog come out on top make sure to leave a comment and you might get featured in our next video thanks for watching if you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to never miss any MMA news. Check out our video from yesterday if you missed it. See you tomorrow.